Hello, this is Redfeather24, and this is one of the biggest boxes I ever received from Red Wolf Airsoft, also one of the most expensive boxes. And let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so we start off with a lot of packing foam. This is just a uh, packing. First item we have what I believe is the shirt, the camo shirt. And I believe it is indeed a kind of shirt. Comes in a nice bag. It's a very nice texture. We have an, a shirt in uh, Atex, it's what it's called. It's a new um, camo developed by Pantac, if I'm not um, mistaken. And it's a really nice breathing fabric. It feels like it, it, I, I can wear it all day long without getting sweaty. It's like one of them sports textures. Really nice. Okay, moving on. We have the Sistema P90 uh, cylinder set, which is of course going into my P90. Next, we have a bit of a collection. Sistema Spur Gear set, the um, high speed version. Love it. A Prometheus air seal chamber, and I got two of those. It's really nice. Tokyo Marui EG30000 high cycle motor, and a deep fire tappet plate for the P90. Then this will be a GMP optic and it's fairly large, it's really bulky, I like that. This is by you Battlefield 3 gamers known as the M145, which is actually the Alcan scope um, developed if I'm not mistaken by the Canadian forces. And it should have a very nice, yes. Its um, magnification and radical are exactly the same as their ACOG series. So that is nice. Let's see what else we got here. We'll keep this, um, we'll keep this on the side. And then the only thing that is left is let me just check real quick. Of course customs open everything up to see if there are no illegal substances hiding within this box, but whatever. One, two, three, four, four items that should be in this box then. Let's we'll just have, let's we'll just skip to the main event of this video. FN Erstall M249 Barra with retractable stock. It is a cyber gun version, so 
It comes with full tray, full trays, which is really nice. So let's see how we can open this one up. Cybergun accessories, um, mm -hmm. basic uh, manual, first thing that catches my eyes is the, the size of the shortness of this uh, container compared to a standard M4 with a uh, M16 buttstock on it, it's fairly short. They always give you a battery and of course the gun itself. Um, first impressions, it seems a bit smaller than I imagined. That's not a big problem. It does however feel heavier than I imagined. Leave that for another day. Right, so the Cyber gun Mini Me or the M249 as it's often referred to. I'll do a full review on this later. Right now, I actually just want to get into it, um, see what it packs, see what it does, so that we can go to a, uh, a review. So, wait, there should be one more item. There should be one more item. Of course! What are we going to use for ammo? Well, BBs of course, but we're not going to feed them into the Playmo high cap M4 mags. Nope. For that we have the box mag. The special GMP licensed um, box mag, which should hold 3,000 rounds. And that is looking sick. That's looking nice. So, with the bipod folded out, that is a sleek looking gun. See what else was in here? Oh, the wires, of course. That's nice. Okay, so um, we're going to have to take a look at how to mount all this thing and we'll get back to you later.